I am, I didn't realize this, I'm here on your actual <laughs> last day. Getting to sit next to you like this is really a special honor. But I wanted to come because I have an honor for you because you've done so much for our community in the last 16 years um, here at KBOI. So if I could read it, I get to do um, a kind of fun thing as mayor, and that is declare days. And so today, February 28, 2022, is Natalie Hurst Day in Boise, Idaho. Thank you. Um, thank you for all you've done. So I'd love to read this so that everybody um, can hear what, what's included in the proclamation that thank you. Um, I wrote and signed this morning. Whereas Natalie Hurst has served communities across the country for three decades and served Boiseans for 16 years with her journalism, and whereas Natalie has supported and invested in countless charitable organizations, including the Nampa and Caldwell Meals on Wheels programs, the Idaho Humane Society, Simply Cats, <laughs> the Idaho Feed ba ba Food Bank, and many more. And whereas Natalie's exemplary work has been recognized by several organizations over the years, including the Idaho State Broadcasters Association, who twice named you Best News Anchor. Congratulations. And whereas Natalie has told a countless number of impactful stories, including your award-winning report, 24 Hours on the Streets, that was a good one, in which she immersed herself with people experiencing homelessness to reveal their humanity and struggle. And whereas Natalie's leadership, knowledge, and mentoring has helped create the next generation of journalists in Boise and beyond. And whereas your wisdom, decency, and selflessness will be missed not only by your colleagues, but by people throughout Boise and the Treasure Valley. Now, I, therefore, Lauren McLean, Mayor of Boise, do hereby proclaim February 28, 2022, as Natalie Hurst Day. Congratulations. Thank you so much. This means so much to me. You guys, I thought I was going to make it without crying. Thank you. Um, I didn't know they were going to do this, so um, I appreciate this because we got to know you not only on a professional level but a personal level and and we were just so pleased to see you as the guest speaker for um, the Boise firefighters dinner um, at the banquet uh, last year and, and um, I just I truly appreciate um, all that the, the, the community has given me and um, it, it's it is a big family and um, you know, from someone who came from upstate New York with my first start at the Fayetteville Eagle Bulletin, I say that only because you were from Casanova. Oh my goodness, I didn't <laughs> yes. know that, okay. And then my next job was- Neighboring my, high schools. My, uh, yes, FM. And then uh, my next uh, job was at the Skinny Atlas Press. And uh, it was uh, a, a lot of fun um, to be able to go from upstate New York to, um, well, all places. When you're a journalist, you end up moving around. And, um, but to land here and, um, you know, we're just, it's so neat to see that you know some of your press people from a competing channel um, coming over to work for you, and, and um, to be able to uh, see Justin Core, and, and uh, you know just um, all of us in the media become like family. I think in the big in, in the big picture, and um, it's really it's so fun having the opportunity to bring. Uh, well, hold you accountable <laughs> on one level, and then on the other, but you also be able to tell the good that's going on in the community. And, and uh, we play a very unique role, I think, in that we do have to ask you the tough questions, but at the same time, um, be able to bring stories that you know you're going to want to watch because you can't have all good, you know, bad news. In you know, well, we got a little bit going on over in Ukraine right now, and it's tough to. It's actually tough to be. Um, you know, when you think of grandmothers making Molotov cocktails right now across the way to just survive, it's, it's sort of hard to have that pomp and circumstance today. But um, thank you for making time. That, that means the world to me. It's well, been a privilege you, to um, be able to cover our communities in, in so many different places. I, I've lived in nine states and overseas. And, and um, to, be, to be able to have that privilege to be able to meet mayors, um, meet different leaders, it's... Um, it, it's a real privilege and then be able to tell you, um, you know, here's what they're saying and why. And then you ultimately get to make that decision about what is the most important thing. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really big uh, job and a big honor. So thank you. Well, congratulations so, on an yeah. incredible career. Thank I'm you. so glad you, like <laughs> so many of us, have made Boise home and you really did make it home. Thank you. Um, thank you. Well, incredible stories. You've left an incredible mark. Thank, thank you. you and congratulations. Enjoy thank you for the surprise. all your time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And we're going to be going through <laughs> upstate New York uh, and, uh, in retirement and up, uh, all, all kinds of things. So I'll, I'll tell everybody from Casanova you say hi. <laughs> <laughs> thank so, you. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah.
And Mayor, thank you again for being here and uh, sharing this proclamation with Natalie. Uh, it's touching all of us. I appreciate it.